So we really like to give people homemade gifts, often edible, at the holidays. Um, and often the biggest challenge to that is actually figuring out how to wrap them and present them to people. So we like to use a couple of sort of interesting materials. Yeah, we like sort of, we like kind of minimal wrapping. So we tend to use things like fresh plants or flowers or you know, little berries to, as our, you know, it's in place of, you know, fancy ribbons and bows. Mm -hmm. And we like, you know, using nice kind of plain cardboard boxes that could be reused by the person you give it to and, you know, kind of simple, we think, kind of handsome ribbon, ribbons. So we're going to start with some jam because lots of people make jam all year long and it's a great gift. The best way to wrap jam is just in a cellophane bag so you can see it because it's really quite pretty and this is, the jam is in a weck jar which is, we think are really handsome jam jars. Mm -hmm. And all we're going to do is take a little greenery this funny little white plant and twine. We love twine. And Meryl, maybe you can help yeah. me by gab sure. gathering that. Gathering this yeah. together. And holding that on. Right. If you have somebody to help you out, that makes it much easier. Just tie it on. I'm going to do a double knot. And kitchen twine is really good for, yeah. for wrapping. Okay. Looks good. Use it in the kitchen and up. Do a little Oh, bow. So cute. And there you go. The next thing we have is we have some homemade candied or orange peel and pears that are dipped in chocolate. Set them on a piece of felt in a brown box. Close up the box and then we have this jazzy ribbon. And we have this, again, this sort of mysterious white, sort of snowy looking plant, plant thing. <laughs> like Which feels holiday-ish to us. <laughs> Seems like it should be in the nutcracker. Exactly, it does. So just so I'm gonna use my finger there. That would be great. Okay. No reason to knot up anything. Just do a nice bow so that somebody can open it really easily. Okay. Trim the ends. There you go. And our third one is a box of marshmallows. Yes, we've got homemade marshmallows in here. I think they're sort of cinnamon and apple flavored. Yeah. Wrapped in tissue. Yeah. And if you need, if you want to lift them up a little bit, you can always put a little bit of paper towel or more tissue in the bottom. Tuck them in, nestle them in the little bed. It's like a hat box, a mini hat box. <laughs> <laughs> and this one we're gonna wrap crossways. So start like this. Oh, yep, don't let it fall off the counter because that would not be good. <laughs> Smushed marshmallows. Again, very helpful to have somebody doing this with you. Oh. Also, a lot more fun. <laughs> and we've got these two more plant-like items, which are obviously a different color than we used before. I think the yeah. sort of dark red is going to look really nice. And it's, you know, it says holidays without being really over-the-top holidays, like yeah. bright red and green. Totally. Or bright blue. Tie it off. Pretty. And there you go. So there you go. There's some edible gift wrapping ideas for you. And I'm sure you can come up with a lot more on your own.